Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter the Master of Hoppets. Today looking at another beer that I got from Beer Jum, a great Belgian web shop that if you guys follow me on Facebook you would have seen sent me a big ass box of uh, awesome beers. So this one would be should be really fun to try. This is from Cigar City, a brewery we don't get beer from too often in Denmark but once in a while it shows up which is I mean it's awesome because it's Cigar City <laughs> but this should be interesting this is from a series of beers they do called the Dark Woods which is where they marry stronger darker beer styles with unique types of wood so it makes a different series of wood aged beers to get different wood flavors in beers which is really cool uh, I had one of them which was an old ale at CBC or now MBCC, a little while back, uh, what, two years ago maybe? I think it might have been the very first one. But this is the newest rendition that released in, uh, were released in 2016, and this is the Cigar City, the Dark Woods Imperial Brown Ale. So it's an Imperial Brown Ale on 7.8%, and for some reason, there's no ABV, ABV on the bottle, apparently because in Florida, uh, liquor laws are stating that you don't have to put the ABV on the bottle, which is kind of stupid in my mind. <laughs> I like to know how strong the beer I'm drinking is. It's the same with like cycle brewing beers and stuff, but whatever. It's an Imperial Brown Ale and 7.8% dry hopped with experimental hop varieties, and then it's aged on African pad padalk? padalk wood? It's a, hard a hardwood and a maple wood as well. So yeah, pretty different. Dry hopped and wood aged. Sounds pretty interesting. Apparently, apparently, like some of the these experimental hops compared with the wood is supposed to give a coconutty taste, um, and I think it was yes, yeah, so it was sweet maple wood. So sounds pretty interesting. So I got the 2016 the Dark Woods Borers, and it, well, it, it looks like a brown ale. It's a very nice dark brown color. Also, it's used the base malt for it is Golden Promise, and then they use five specialty malts in it as well. But yeah, quite dark brown, like really on the darker side of brown, bordering to like. Like almost, you know, I don't know, I, I wouldn't say black, but it's like super dark brown at least. Like very caramel kind of color to it. But nice looking in the glass, kind of a beige head to it. Let's take out the aroma on Cigar City in the Dark Woods, 2016. Oh, that's an interesting wood aroma, like peppery almost. Yeah, woody, spicy black peppercorns is what I'm picking up right now. That must be that South African, well, I, I've never actually smelled maple wood. I only know maple syrup taste, and that's, of course, much sweeter than the wood itself. But maybe there is a slight maple-esque sweetness, but that's maybe just because I know it's says maple, and then, you know, your mind plays tricks with you. And it does have an underlying slight hoppiness to it still, like a generic, spicy, maybe that coconutty hop bite, too. It's got also maybe a slight amount of alcohol, but definitely some tanniny, woody notes. And that kind of black peppery, almost cork-like aroma. A very unique wood aroma. I'd say the best, because usually wood is like sweet, woody, vanilla flavor, if you think something like oak. But this is more like peppery, maybe more dry as well, black peppercorns. And then spicy, almost like herbaceous, which could be the hops too. But underneath all that, there's a nice underlying base of caramel malt aromas. Uh, Sweet kind of caramel notes. It smells pretty good. Fresh to baked breadish, bready notes too. But then there's that hop nuance. It smells pretty, pretty different. But let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers and thanks a ton to Beer Gym for the beer. Hmm. Fruity and peppery. Almost smoky. Wow, that is a different wood flavor. Really different. Like peppery, woody, spicy. That black peppercorn really nails it with that wood. That's like the main flavor I'm picking up from it. It's, it has some underlying nice hop notes too, that green herbaceous kind of thing, somewhat of a slight coconutty tone. And then it's got the caramel malt, like sweeter caramel notes. It's got a medium mouthfeel, kind of effervescent too, not like crazy heavily carbonated, but actually a pretty high carbonation. Like a medium mouthfeel. Sweetness isn't too overpowering. There's some underlying dark fruity flavors too, like jammy dark fruits, which pairs pretty well actually with that interesting peppery note. The sweet maple wood, I don't know if that really plays in. 
I, I, I'm, when I think maple, I think of maple syrup because that's what it says. So I'm taking that these really peppery different flavors are from that uh, paddock wood from South Africa. Or was it South Africa? At least Africa. Nice stuff. So rating wise for the Cigar City Brewing, the Dark Woods Imperial Brown Ale, I think I'm going to go straight 90. It's pretty good. It's not my favorite Cigar City beer. Uh, they definitely make better stuff, but it's still a very nice Imperial Brown Ale. And if you're really into Brown Ales, I really think you'd, li you'd like it. And also, if you just want to try different flavors of wood and how it affects beer, this is really worth a go because this is pretty fun. It's You can make some interesting experimental things. That's one of the cool things with beer, you know? You can put everything in there and create unique different flavors. So, tasty stuff. If you guys had had a chance to try the 2016 uh, the Dark Woods by Cigar City. Definitely let me know what you think of it. And let me know what's your favorite The Dark Woods beer if you've had any of the other beers in the series. I think I definitely prefer the Old Ale so far, which I, I think was the first one. But yeah, and if you can't get this beer in your local area, you can of course check out beergym.com. Link for the web shop is down below. So as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I want to say cheers. See you guys in another beer review.